So yes, keep that team morale as high as you possibly can. Yeah, it's 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 really strange times, isn't it? So we've got to stay as disciplined as possible. I think um, thank you for that answer, Liz. We've just had some comments um, saying we cut off um, slightly. We did I thought uh, that all right? Yeah. Um, I if we should be back on. Um, can everyone still hear us? Okay, so yeah. team. Perfect. Right. Go again, but from a different angle because I don't want to bore the people who heard me. Mm -hmm. uh, I work with so many teams. Are we still okay there, Jen? Yeah, we're good. We're yeah, good. I work with so many teams in, in my day to day in the normal course of work. The one thing I continually hear from your teams is what does she expect from me? Um, what will upset any team members more than anything is if they're not pleasing you, their boss. Therefore, it's really important that you have clarity around this. What is it that you expect from people and are you communicating that effectively? So the clearer you are with your team about what it is you expect from them, the more productive they're going to be. So now is the time to start thinking about the goals, the targets for the business. And, you know, how does each person become a financial asset to your business and teach them this? explain it clarify use your little weekly meetings to do this so that when people when you reopen everybody working with you knows what you expect from them in conjunction with that then you also have a look at yourself and your own management skills and your own performance management skills and you need to improve and if you do be that be ready for that as well so use this time to make sure that when you reopen your doors your team know exactly what it is that you expect from them that will keep morale, morale high. The most successful salons that I see are the salons that everybody knows what's expected from them, have everything in writing, and um, have most have lots of regular meetings where communication is good. So use this time to reposition all that. Brilliant. And um, when we're back into the salons, um, how about customer service? How should we be approaching that um, when we're back up and running? Customer service and those of you again who, who've worked with me know that I bet everything I do is based around customer service because much and all as we love our businesses, you know, unless the money is right, there is no business. So customer service, if we get the customer service right, the money will take care of itself. So I, do, I know I talk about sales quite a lot, but actual fact, if you approach this from how can I help? how can i help every single client how can i help how can i help as opposed to have to sell 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 people will always want to buy from somebody who wants to help that's it and so customer service i see in salons a little bit of gray area around customer service but you know you've got to have the competitive advantage in your locality in your area and customer service is going to give you that now everybody has to be on the same page you can't have one or two people providing one, one level of customer service and three or four on a completely different page. Again, I think this is something you could use your weekly meetings for and revisit the customer service. Very often, I meet people in salons who think their job is just coming through no fault of their own. This is not a criticism. They come in in the morning, they check the appointment book, they see what services are listed for them. And they think, well, right, I'll just do those services and that's my job done. It's not your job done. That's just what you do. Your actual job is really to create and to build a client base. And you do that through providing outstanding, effective customer service. So if you're the owner or the manager, you need to teach your team how to improve their customer service so that everybody is wowing the customers. In my book, 30 Days to Beauty Business Success, this is not my phrase, but it's one of my favorites. Um, I have a little phrase in it, a little quote from, from Mayo Angelo, an American writer. People will forget what you've said, they will forget what you've done, but they will never forget how you made them feel. So it's really important that you connect your customer service up to make sure that everybody is just wowed in your business. And there is no room for error here because we're all only as weak as, we're all only as good as the weakest link. So there's no room for a weakest link. You know, we are going back. The money you've lost during the lockdown is gone. It's gone. It's not coming back. So you just have to, you know, really make sure that when you open your doors, every single client has a financial positive impact on your bottom line. 
And we don't want to be putting your, your, your team members under pressure to achieve this. They will achieve it through outstanding customer service. So everybody needs to know the importance of customer service. Oh, yeah. that's really it's your awesome. point. That quote as well, is, it's so true. And I think it's definitely something we can all have in the back of our minds when we go to reopen. Always. The mm -hmm. last salon that I had, um, and I left salon work in 2006, I, I um, moved to doing this work. But the last salon that I had, I had a goal every single day with every client that I wanted each client happy leaving, looking forward to coming back and happy to recommend me. And if I didn't tick those three boxes with any particular client, I wasn't doing my job right. No. <laughs> <laughs> and as well, um, following on from that, and once so you, you've got the you've got your customers in the salon and the customer service you provide there, um, but marketing wise, um, and promoting your business, um, what well, how would you suggest salon owners go about doing that, either pre lockdown, um, or when we can go back out again? I think, and thank you for mentioning this, I think this is probably the most critical activity that mm. people need to be um, engaging in at the moment. That's why I'm saying take the health and safety, figure out what you need to do, do it, and, and now move on to, to driving your business. Um, the reason marketing is so important um, and that I can stand over this is because history has demonstrated down through the centuries, literally, that whenever we hit a global or even any sort of downturn or recessionary times, the companies that continue to market are the companies that absolutely thrive when it's over. Our doors are shut right now. If people are retailing, selling vouchers, that's as good as it's going to get, but you are closed for services. Mm -hmm. But you have got to stay in front of your customers. You've got to ring fence them and you've got to stay in touch with them. Now, be very clear about this. This is not a time to sell because you have nothing to sell. However, if you don't keep in touch with your customers, the message you're actually giving out is, I really only care about you when you're in my salon and you're spending money. Mm -hmm. If you keep in touch with them now, you're saying, I care about you. I'm here for you. I'm sorry I, I can't you know, cut your hair or do your nails or whatever it is, but I am thinking about you and I can't wait to see you again. So you stay in front of them. You stay on their radar and mm -hmm. use this, you know, use this time to reposition yourself as the expert. There's lots of yeah. information you can be giving them about how to do their hair, how to do their nails, how to take care of their skin um, mm -hmm. and keep in touch with them. You know, I met I met a neighbor. <laughs> so normally I just say hello to people, but now I'm talking to everybody who'll talk to me. I'm walking up the street and I'm just glaring at everybody, making sure they'll say hello to me. <laughs> but I met a neighbor the other day and she said, you know, um, the person I go to for my eyebrows sent me a text message to say, you know, I hope you're doing okay. That's the sort of thing that makes people feel special. That's the sort of thing that when the lockdown is over, they'll say, Well, where do I go to for my yeah. eyebrows? And you're under no illusions, they have plenty of choice. So if you want them to talk to you then stay in front of them. Now, so stay in front of them, keep communicating with them, don't try and sell to them until you're open to sell. There's a, some, another element to this that this time is giving you enormous opportunity to catch up on yourself with marketing. Um, you know, so often people are in my workshops and they're saying, I wish I had more time to market. I need to get my website right. I need to sort out my database. I need to improve my social media platforms. I need to learn how to, um, what, I need to learn my the marketing function on my software. Make a list for yourself and do all of this during this time. Like if you spent an hour a day, every day for the next couple of months, you know, it's going to go on longer than we would originally have liked. But if you were to spend an, an hour a day, every single day working on your marketing, you know, you work on your marketing, you upskill your team, you know, you're, you're not going to have any white space. Or you can sit, or you can sit, you can sit, you can sit at home and look at, you know, westerns or something on the television all day. But please, you know, don't do it to yourself. You can't, you know, if you, the one thing you cannot do to yourself, and 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 this is just like self sabotage that is not acceptable, is that when the doors are reopened again in September, October, whenever it is that you say to yourself, "I'm drowning. I wish I would have just used that summer time much more wisely. I wish I would have attended to working on my business then." this time is gold in one way, so, so please use it. Yeah. So marketing is critical, absolutely critical. Yeah. 
I've just seen um come in there um always treat people and your clients how you would like to be treated and I think that's key especially at a time like this it's everything and yeah. um you know I don't do services anymore but I spend most of my life in the normal course events in salons and I, I am the client quite a lot now and you know the difference between somebody who's given you 100% attention and somebody who isn't yeah. and you can just sense it from the person and if if you're not getting that 100% attention you're not coming back no no yeah. it's not yeah so you must treat you must treat people yeah you know, you know we're, we're honored and privileged to serve people so we must give it everything we have yeah and using this time wisely to really like work on your marketing plan or work on those bits that you wouldn't have time to do on a normal um day-to-day -day basis it's just crucial and yeah definitely just making the most of this opportunity yes, and yeah. it might not come around again um, <laughs> well, hopefully it won't come around again but, but just yeah make 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 make, make the most, most of it you know every every challenge brings it's opportunities there's no doubt about that you know so we can get lost in the challenge of this time or we can capitalize on the opportunities that it's going to bring that's the choice definitely and um with working um from home and kind of setting out a plan of what you want to be working on at the moment um how would you set priorities and timelines and recovery operations um in place ready to go back Okay, I, I have a little complaint for everybody. You don't use me nearly enough. You've got to use me an awful lot more. Um, my website is lizmckeown.com. And last week I put up, um, uh, I developed a business plan for you. Now, these are all free resources. So go onto my website, download the, the, the business plan. That will give you a good starting point. When this all, this lockdown situation started, um, in, in March, I was, you know, very adamant about my message, which is work on your business, not just in it. Now we have the opportunity and several people, exactly what you're saying, Jen, messaged me and said, like, Liz, I don't know how to work on my business. What will I do? So I spent a whole weekend and I developed a 14 day podcast series. And again, that's a free series. And it literally is every day. And I have to apologize to people on it, you know, from all over the world to say, I'm so sorry, you're going to have an Irish accent at the end of this, but please work with me. <laughs> so the, the idea is, is that you take your notebook 15 minutes a day and do one, do one podcast a day. And at the end of the 15 minutes, I'm giving you your to-do list or you will have developed your to-do list. So work with me um, that way, because I know you can get overwhelmed with like, I have so much to do. Where do I start that you do nothing? Or else you, you just, you know, just, you know, over, just do too much. So they're the two resources that I have that I'm suggesting you work with. Your business plan so you can redefine your strategy, Your my 14 day podcast so you can clean up and tidy up your business. So um, that's, what I, that's what I have. Now I know people, you know, there's all sorts of webinars and all sorts of things where we can upskill and learn. So, so much to learn and to do. And I think you need a discipline. So my discipline, for example, is every morning I do my my Facebook live at 915 and I do my Instagram live at 930. And, you know, I have to say when I started it, it was it was to make sure that I was out of the bed with the makeup on. I know the hair is not I can't do nothing about the hair but with the makeup on. And I am ready to go at my kitchen table every morning at 915. So we still need discipline and we we all work in environments that are highly, highly structured. And without that structure, we're a bit lost. So. I developed those resources for you, so please use me. Perfect. Just go onto my website, lizmckeown.com. I think as well, the importance of having structure in a day Everything. is so important. So yeah. important to get up at the, the same time, um, stick to a routine, and then really put in your action plan of what you want to get done that day. You know, there's another side to this, and, and routines are critical in this because it stops this happening. You know, if, if you're running a business, you are the engine, you know, you, you are the life force behind, the driving force and the life force behind that business. So it's really important that you keep yourself positive and in a, in a strong, you know, and very strong mentally and that's and emotionally. And that's very challenging right now. And a routine is, is, is definitely the way to, to keep yourself strong and well. Health, you know, healthy, mentally, emotionally, every way. Yeah. So routine. Yeah. 
Oh, well, before we end and before we take any questions, if you do have any, please do drop them down in our chat box um, to the side and we will answer those for you. Um, but if, um, Liz, if you would just like to sum up a couple of just key points, um, maybe one to three points of how your best recommendations for putting that confidence back in. Right. So in terms of the confidence, just to recap, don't start drowning in the health and safety thing. Get the professional help that you need. Go onto my website, onto my blogs, get the health and safety details and get, get the contact and get an expert advice. So that is definitely one thing. The second thing I'm going to say is take care of yourself. You know, make sure that you use this time to sleep well, eat, eat properly. Be very careful that you don't overindulge in all the media thing. You know, um, I, I'm nearly kind of forgotten about it. I, I stopped watching the news because I just found it, it was kind of bringing me down a, a little bit so um, I think just focus on keeping yourself find out what you need to know but while the virus is being spread physically the media is spreading it psychologically and, and that's fine that's their job but just be mindful that 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 doesn't overwhelm you so health and safety get that sorted um, take care of yourself eat properly sleep properly get out in the air all of those sort of disciplines that sometimes the salon owners people don't really get get time to do and thirdly start working on your business really focus on your business with a routine and um, with your to-do list with your team and get ready for your rise again moment and your comeback brilliant i love that rise again moment yes it's coming <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely coming so you know do yourself justice and be ready for it yeah we've had um we have a comment here um so we have a college student um and she's been watching all of our pv webinars thank you so much and we hope that they're helping you um but liz what advice would you give her um to get ahead of the game um when coming out of lockdown is there any um secret tips and tricks that you can share with us so just to clarify this is somebody in college yes okay right um, and sometimes i work in in the colleges and uh, teaching people how to, how to get jobs and perfect i think my biggest advice to anybody in that situation is study and learn now how to become a financial asset in any in any salon you know you will you know you will learn the skill of how to do the services how to do the treatments what does any employer want an employer wants an easy time so they want somebody who's well behaved can do their job but also can build a client base and can become a financial asset in in the business so again lots of free resources um, on my website about that so i think if you can present send a cv send a letter to any to any employee and say give me a chance i will make money for you they will talk to you a great way to go in as well as <laughs> yeah let me let me make the money definitely um our next question is um is there anything you would advise um us as a salon that can set us apart from the competition um yes buy my book 30 days to beauty business success and um yeah and get your customer service journey right now the devil is in the detail here so the more detailed you are on your customer service journey, the more you're going to wow people. So um, I suppose the first thing I would say to you is you don't get a second chance to make a good first impression. Okay. So you will have clients who were regulars coming back, but it's been so long, it's like they're new clients. You will have new clients coming in who've never been to your business before, who are giving you the opportunity to, to try them out. Now, I would work with you and your team um, to figure out how do we wow our customers within the first seven seconds. You get seven seconds to make a good first impression. And, and that's just it. And um, in, within those seven seconds, people will make one of three decisions. The first decision is that they like the person they meet, therefore they like the salon. Yeah. The second decision they make is they don't really like the person and therefore they don't like the salon and they will come once and they will never come again. The third decision is that well, they don't really care about you because you don't really care, seem to care about them. And they're equally as dangerous as the client who doesn't like you. So um, there's a direct correlation between the person that we meet in the salon and how we feel about that business. So if you want to differentiate yourself and be better and have that competitive advantage in your locality, that would be my first thing. Make sure that the first time somebody phones you, they're wowed. 
the first time they walk through the door they have that feeling um oh, i really like it in here you know as customers we make our mind up whether we're coming back long before you put a finger on us at all we know well in advance of that so that would be the my starting point in your customer service journey get that initial first impression smash, smash that one yeah um and we have another question coming okay. from book um which is great so it's great to have um our watchers on the live stream as well um so she, they are asking how do you envisage home salons opening um so this is obviously a one-on-one -on -one appointment um but it's in that person's home so so how how would you advise that they go about that um i don't see any difference between that uh, and a high street salon and I and I would be applying the same rules. You get the professional help. This is too serious. We cannot figure it out ourselves. Um, if you're a home salon, you know, clients still expect you to be very professional and adhere to all the guidelines. But there are so many guidelines. It's hard. To, you know, we couldn't possibly figure it out ourselves. I, I'm still saying go and get the professional help. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Same if you're mobile. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. we having that advice. Um, you just it's it's the best way to move it's, forward it's the only way it's yeah. the only way to keep yourself safe and and your customers safe yeah if we have any more questions um before we wrap up liz is there anything else you would like to tell us or share with us um before we leave you today well, I think I'm just going to go back to use me a little bit more. My website is lizmckeown.com. Um, join me in the mornings, 9.15 or 9.30 for my lives. Um, go onto my website, sign up for the newsletters, and you'll get. You know, we will send you all the free resources um, to keep you busy, because I hate to think of you not being busy. Um, so that, that would be my main thing. You know, please stay working on your business. Stay in control of what you're in control of. You're not in control of the, of the virus, of the economy or anything else, but you are in control of getting ready for your comeback. Brilliant. Oh, thank you so much for joining us today, Liz. We really appreciate you taking the time My out. My pleasure. Thank you, Jen. I think, I think you have another little career there, Jen, oh. interviewer. <laughs> oh. well, well done. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get Karina back. This um we will have to look at different connection options. We've tried many different we've tried Zoom, we've tried click meeting platform, um, but but we will get there. Um, you were there, you did great. Oh <laughs> well we'll speak to you soon, Liz. Um and yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch. And if anyone would like to um, ask any more questions, if you're watching this back um, on our Facebook or on YouTube at all, um, you can always in, um, email us at info at professionalbeauty.ie with any questions at all um, or comment in the comment box and we'll pass them on to Liz. Um, and if you just, if you um, have anything else at all, just let us know and we'll be there to help. Um, we have also put together um, a coronavirus resources list for you. Um, so this will be going live on um, our website today. So that's professionalbeauty.ie. And we'll have all of our coronavirus um, resources available for you. So that's anything from news articles that we featured recently to latest updates to all of our webinars that, that we touch upon, any kind of advice for you or information. Um, so we will post the link on our Facebook as well so you have access access to that this afternoon um, but if there's anything else you'd like to hear from us do you just let us know okay brilliant well thank you liz and we'll see you soon yeah we'll see you bye. soon again thank you bye bye, bye.